They got a beautiful, beach. <laughs> beautiful view from an ocean. A five or million dollar house. Not really over the ocean, but more like fr well, m maybe can they see the ocean from yeah. the house? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not overlooking the ocean, no. but it's up on a mountain, and they can see the water from where they are. Uh, it's a pretty sick house. I really don't know who decided to build the gaming house over there, but I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty smart. <laughs> it's like, all right, how can I make my guys really happy? Yeah, they will practice a lot. What if I just make them practice a lot, but they still live in the best environment ever? Well, okay, I guess that works. Let's just get a million dollar house. Or I don't know how many million. In any case, it's an awesome house, and it was awesome to visit it once. But Ben, time for Wang Xin versus Ryong. Wang Xin, of course, our blue Protoss, spotting on the right top side of Whirlwind. And Slayer's Ryong, for, oh, former Slayer's Ryong, sorry guys, uh, spotting as the Red Terran in the right bottom side of this map. When I hear Slayers these days, man, I get a little bit sad. I get teary. Mm, there's been a lot of... Uh, man. There's been a lot of stuff going on with Slayers and over... Just kind of around that organization within Korea. I would love to see them, like, film that into a Korean drama. And then Jessica can play Jessica. <laughs> I think she would do a fantastic job. Would probably be more, uh, more lucrative. Because apparently Boxer invested quite a bit of money into that house into those guys. Yeah, it's <coughs> really sad. It's sad to see Slayers go. It was one of my favorite teams, without a doubt. I've uh, always liked the guys, and they've provided so many good players, so many good Protoss players as well. Uh, but of course, certainly MMA is their absolute all-star, if you don't take Boxer into consideration. Anyways, Ben, curious to see how Wang Xin is going to play. Going to keep a close eye on his build. What we do know is that Gritorp has recently been practicing a lot with Wang Xin, and he's trying to coach him, trying to analyze Wang Xin, his opponents, and trying to just help him out as much as possible. And Wang Xin, as we heard several times also when you spoke with Scott Rom, uh, the manager of Quantic House right now, is very confident in his playing styles, feels good, plays great games. So the sky is the limit, Ben. Yeah, I think uh, I think I think Wang Xin has sort of busted through his skill ceiling, as I think the saying goes sometimes. Like, huh. a lot of times players hit these plateaus and it's really, really hard to make that next step. But to me, it looks like Huangson has maybe done that. And he was already at a very high level. Now, I don't think anybody would have ever called Huangson one of the top Protoss players on the planet. But yeah. but uh, if... He was a very hard opponent to he, face he in any tournament. He was always a very hard opponent to face. And it, for him to level up, I think, puts him at... A, at, at maybe in that upper echelon of, uh, of world-class Protoss players. Is it going to be enough to take out uh, Ryung here? Uh, I, I kind of think so. Uh, did you predict Wangzi to win? I did. Okay, I think I predicted Wangzi to win as well, but this is a real 50-50, and if we go 0-4, Ben, I might just have to scream <laughs> on the stream today. Anyways, we'll see. Wangzi is going to scout. He's going to see these orbitals morphing or transforming already. Well, it says morphing, but I always think that's wrong. And he's going to realize that this was indeed a comment at the first opening for Ryong. And that's always a little bit, it makes me uncomfortable when, when I scout that. Because I know that if I don't do anything, I'm going to be behind economically. That is uh, certainly something to keep in mind here. Three racks down for Ryong, Huangson, Macron up as well. I, I, I really like that we're seeing Huangson kind of transform from being a, a, a two-place player into... Uh, a Protoss player who's not afraid to macro. It reminds me a lot of the transformation we saw Violet go through. And, yeah. and you know, after after making that step, Violet became one of the world-class players on the planet with some yeah. huge tournament wins and yeah. multiple majors. And really became a fan favorite as well. And I definitely think that Wang Xin still has the potential to turn into someone like that. As He's just such a likable guy. He seems really sincere. He's really nice. And he has a really fun play style. It used to indeed be centered around two base play. But guys, those days are, well, I wouldn't say almost gone because everybody goes in for a little two base play every now and then. Unless you're Bishu. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, so every Protoss has that. But Wang Xin is definitely capable of going up to three, four, five base, playing those crazy games. That series he had earlier this season, Ben, against Thorzane. Oh, what a fantastic game that was on Daybreak. If you guys missed that, you should definitely check out the VODs of Thorzain versus Wang Xin. Well, I'm just getting handled the drink by our lovely production lady. Thank you, Kylie. But yeah, that was a great game. Wasn't that right, Ben? It was uh, one of the most exciting series of the year, I think, or uh, at least of the season. As everything's looking so super standard for Ryung right now. He obviously wants to play Bio, getting the factory down. He's going to start working yeah. on his Starport soon. First eBay also going down. I'm more uh, curious about uh, Wang Xin's build order, man. So far, all that he did was drop three gates, and he opened up with the one Forge and started researching armor. Now, getting armor before attack, 
It's not a huge deal in, P in uh, PvD, it's actually kind of standard. Now we do see the first real tag going down. He's going to open up with the Twilight Concert then. Now he's going to be Dark Templar, Storm, or just going to go for uh, Charge Lots and Blink, and then eventually Colossus. I think it might just be Charge, then Blink, or Blink, and then Charge, and then going into Colossus, before even High Templar's but uh, It's really hard to predict right now. Kev, yeah, interestingly, uh, of course, everybody that is a subscriber able to participate in chat can bet on these games. 51% of, of viewers feel like Huangson's going to win this one. Yep. With, uh, with one, po one, one participant betting 2,674 points. Wow, he is Guys, you start with 10 points. It takes a long time to accrue that many points. And this is not really a game that I would go all in at. So, uh... We are going to see Blink first, man. I'm not surprised by that, as Blink is excellent in dealing with drops. Uh, it's a little bit easier dealing with drops with Blink than it is with Charge. Of course, Charge is going to be stronger in the straight-up fight, but the amount of sentries already kind of gives away that Wang Xin right now is not looking for a straight-up fight. Yeah, he's uh, wanting to sit back, play passive, maybe uh, wait until he has some Colossi out. 48 probes against 46 SCVs, but the robotics facility is done. It's warped in, and you see the observer in production is going to start plus two armor immediately. So, so far, this game started off slow, but I'm pretty sure the pace is going to pick up real quick. Uh, Wang Xin is currently 3 2 in the league. That's right. Okay. Just have to double check. And as we already discussed, Ryong is three. trying to build back the uh, pick up the pieces and rebuild his season as. He's gotten one win here today, and he's on his way to, or he's trying to make his way to a second one. Work account is completely even, though, so that's, of course, a good sign for Ryong, who's slightly up in supply as well. Uh, did not drop a third orbital or command send yet. I'm a little bit surprised by that. So we might see him aiming to go for a really big two-base play, which would not be good if Wang Xin eventually decides to go for Templar Archives, because very unlikely he's going to add uh, Ghost by the way that he's playing this out. I rather think that he's hoping that Wang Xin goes Colossus and then tries to make something happen. Uh, with Vikings and SUVs, but he might just still go up to three bases, but I think he could have done it a lot quicker if he really wanted to. Scary drop coming here from Ryung. 16 Marines or 15 Marines, 14 Marines in a You know what, the Wang Xin would be perfect for Wang Xin Ben if he keeps his stalkers back a little bit further. Yeah, so he lets his blink. medevacs commit yep. to the drop. And right no, now they're a little, a little bit too bit far forward. Does he know? No, I don't think he knows. He saw the observer. He might see this army and realize that something is missing. But he should know this is not the entire army. Like, there's no way that this is the entire army. He's not moving those stalkers from his main base. Very smart. He's cast some good force fields at the front. Yeah. And is not... Uh, but is I actually think he could have just fought this army straight up with those zealous sentries. He's going to wipe in more zealous. He does not have charge yet, but he still does have blink. Ben, those medevacs are still here. Oh, this is a very tense moment. Medevacs starting to it. work their way forward. Does Huangson realize what's up? It doesn't matter because Ryung ah, so does not want really to chance good. it. Good defense by uh, Wang Xin, and as you said, Ryong doesn't want to risk losing a lot of bio units and not getting anything in return. Now the stock is a little bit out of position, Ben, but it might be a bait. He's going to wipe more zealots. Bit further back, he is going to leave some zealots there, just sort of chilling. So uh, no robotics bait yet, Kevin, so Colossus Tech's quite far off, and yeah. I'm a little bit concerned because I don't think Wang Xin can, unless he gets a Templar archive, I don't think he's going to be able to. There goes the robotics bay. And the second Robo, so he is going to be starting oh. to pop out the Colossus. Double Robo! Just now we see Ryong going up to three bases, and it's I would like to not exaggerate, but I still think that's an incredible late third base. He could have done that so much quicker. He really wanted to be a bit more aggressive with his bio army, uh, but so far, superb defense by Wang Xin Ben. Because the meta never, caught more. Oh. Yeah. never caught out of position. Wang Xin is playing an excellent game. And he has those O2 upgrades already. We shouldn't forget about those. Yep, uh, starting to work on his, uh, his attack upgrades as well. Uh, Zealots with Guardian Shield are going to be so incredibly effective against these Marines. Only one one up here on these Marines. This drop is going to try and deny the third base. Oh, and, another and he will force a cancel. Meanwhile, Ben, he's going to stim up in the natural. This is good for Ryong because Wong Xin is quite far out of position. I don't think Ryong knows how good this for him really is. He could have sniped this Nexus too. Uh, instead, he's going to try and get some probes. He's going to get a lot of probes. Wong Xin. Oh, the are those probes trapped? I think they're trapped, Ben. I don't uh, think they can escape here. The Valley of Death. He managed wow. to run long enough that some of them are preserved, but that was a very effective attack for Ryong. 20 workers killed. Oh, wow, that was massive for Ryong. That's, I mean, he waited long. That was beautiful Terran play, but if you're a Terran player, you have to appreciate 
this type of play. He could have gone for it much quicker, but he waited, he waited, he waited, then eventually he found the opening. He went for it, forced to cancel over here, and then he saw the army and he stimmed in over here. But this is still far from over, man, as two Colossus are on the way, and Ryong is actually misreading this, I think, a little bit, as making he's making ghosts, but well, he should be producing Vikings. And we should not forget, yes, he has a better economy than Wangtze right now, but it's also not insane, because he was on double orbital for the longest amount of time, but not triple orbital. I think Wangtze's just going to go for this. A little bit of two-base all-in action after taking all that damage. Uh, it will be a difficult hold for Ryung to make. He's only got a single bunker, Kevin. Yeah, this is going to be so tough. Uh, this missile turret, as silly as it sounds, is actually quite useful as long as it, those Colossus don't have Thermal Lands. Because they have the same range. And Thermal Lands is a still a range. good 30, 40 seconds away, which is a huge deal. It's also not being chrono boosted. Once he's going to try and deny... De what's the word I'm looking for? Deny. <laughs> deny this third expansion. And I think he might be successful. Shoot it one more time. Get it burning. Good job right here. Uh, uh, he's actually picking up the probe. And that's the only... Uh, well, there's a pilot over here, but still, it's much further away. Uh, Ryong, you still don't have to fight this fight. These are two Colossus. Yes, you have a lot of Marauders. But I don't know when this can really go either way. Uh, it's going to be close. It really comes down to the force fields. Yeah. Ryong, EMP, force fields. I mean, these guys are just walking. Oh, uh, more Colossus. There's going to be four Colossus soon. Two Colossi are going to be in a really awkward position, though. Here we go. Fight is going to unfold. Colossi uh, are doing so much for damage. Great fight for Huangs, and we'll lose at least one Colossus. But now the Immortals hammering away on all these Marauders. He's picking off Medivacs wow. left and right. Huge Absolutely win. demolished Ryong in Huge this fight. Huge win there for Wonks, and he is just going to move forward. And Ryong's not even going to try. He knows that his goose is cooked. GG. Uh, I don't get why he wants to fight that, man. He already lost that base. He lo well, he didn't lose the base, but he lost all the SCVs. And he was producing Vikings, and he saw two Colossus. Perhaps he hoped that it was going to stay on two Colossus. And he thought, maybe if I'm able to snipe them or engage the Colossus from the side, but that yeah, was silly. If he, if he sits back maneuver. for one minute, he has still a better economy. He actually gets Vikings and Golds, and then the EMPs help out against everything. Ryung yeah. didn't have to fight We now. also can't be sure that Ryung didn't know that Huangsen had expanded. We also can't be sure that Ryung knew exactly how much damage he dealt. Those probes were running around. He, he, I don't know. It's of obviously course, it's hard to say that exactly, but he should know. That, I mean, he, he was a former top 8 GSO Codes player. I think he should know in a situation like that that he's not forced to take a fight. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate turn of events there for Ryung as Wongson goes up 1-0. That game brought to you guys by iBuyPower PCs, the PCs that power the North American Starlight. You can pick up your own iBuyPower PC or notebook over at iBuyPower.com. We're going to take a short break. Game number two is going to be on Cloud Kingdom. Stick around for more StarCraft 2.